Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the complementary symmetry class B audio amplifier. Okay, we will understand how you can design complementary symmetry class V audio amplifier in LT Spice. How will you simulate this circuit in LT Spice? How will you run the transient analysis in LT Spice? And why do we need this kind of class B amplifier, audio amplifier? Why do we need complementary symmetry class B audio amplifier, right? So in the last video, if you remember, we have we have seen this kind of circuit like class b audio amplifier by using two transistor and two register only so we have seen there there is a class crossover distortion if you use this class b amplifier class b audio amplifier you can see here there is a crossover distortion that, that means your output signal is not a replica of your input signal because of this this crossover distortion right this is the crossover distortion so in this video we will understand how will you remove the crossover distortion by using this two r4 and r5 biasing resistance okay so you can see if you compare this circuit with with this circuit class b amplifier circuit you can see here we have four resistance r1 r2 r4 and r5 you can see and we have here also two capacitor in place of c1 we have c3 and c1 okay that is connected likewise so we will once we run the simulation we'll see how the circuit is working how you are removing the crossover distortion by using this kind of configuration in class b audio amplifier okay so let me delete first the circuit right now so friends if you're new to this channel please like share and subscribe you can also join the channel membership by clicking on the join button okay once you click on the join button you can see the multiple options here you can sign in the very popular program of this channel that is mentorship now let us understand how will you design the complementary symmetry class b audio amplifier i'm not going to much in detail in the theoretical calculation right i'll just simply explain how i i have connected the circuit okay so you can see this is the v1 and if you click on the v1 you can see the amplitude is 3 volt and the frequency is 1 kilohertz right and this v1 is connected to here and from here you can see two capacitor c1 and c2 with the value of 100 microfarad i have connected here and you can see this is the junction point where this r1 r4 and c3 is connected and then it goes to the q1 base now you can see r5 and r4 are connected like this and at this junction c1 r5 and R2 are connected and that goes to the base of this Q2, okay. This Q1 is NPN transistor for this simulation purpose. I have used BC547C, this is NPN and this is Q2 is PNP transistor that is for simulation purpose, I have used BC557C, okay. Now you can see here, this is the again the capacitor and the load, okay. Now the you can see the i have used single ended supply that is 12 volt okay so this amplifier i haven't designed by using the dual ended supply right right guys so now let me run the simulation and let me show you how this circuit is working right so go at simulate button right so edit simulation command and right now i'm using transient analysis and stop time is 10 millisecond right so just click on OK, then go at this run button, click on the run button, go at window, tile window vertically, so that we can see both circuit and simulation waveform together. So guys, this is your input. Let me add to plot pen here. <coughs> this is your input. And if you see here, this is your output before the capacitor. Now you can see here guys, 
you are not getting any crossover distortion if you use this kind of circuit okay you can see here there is a no crossover distortion if you use this complementary symmetry class b audio amplifier okay you can see whatever your input signal you can see here this is 3 volt peak and it's a 3 volt peak now you can see at output it's swinging from here let's say 9.3 volt to here 3.3 volt okay uh, so this is the output here if you see the before the capacitor and if you see the out here at the output what you can see is you can see here this is your output okay now you can see this is again 3 volt peak and again here you can see this is more or less 3 volt peak okay so what i mean to say here is you are not getting the crossover distortion if you design the complementary symmetry class v audio amplifier by using this kind of the biasing resistance method okay this simulation clearly shows okay in the last video i have shown you if you design the class b amplifier you see the crossover distortion that means your output signal is not the replica of your input signal now you can see here because of that there might be the losses in the amplifier okay because of now in the in this complementary symmetry class b audio amplifier you can see here your output signal let us say this is your output signal is the replica of your input signal right and you don't see any class any crossover distortion now let me show you the current here load current how this current is flowing you can see here the current is also flowing with the sinusoidal signal and you can see guys there is a no crossover distortion in the current as well this is current waveform is also following the voltage waveform if you want to leak this voltage this is simply the 12 volt if you want to check the base voltage with respect to the ground so let me click this is your base voltage with respect to ground and you can see here the peak is 10 and here you can see 4.2 if you want to see this with reference to emitter you can see it's very quite low and it's a 0.7 volt okay now this is the voltage your base voltage for q1 and this is your base voltage for q2 and meantime you can check the voltage here as well okay okay guys okay so hope guys now have you have understood how you can design and simulate the complementary symmetry class b audio amplifier in lt spice okay how you can remove the crossover distortion uh, of class b audio amplifier by using this kind of uh, configuration by using this kind of circuit in lt spice okay so guys this circuit i haven't tested and i haven't built up any prototype this i am showing to you just for educational purpose right okay so guys hope you understood the concept now you are able to design the circuit i'll also add the google drive link in the description you can download this circuit you can do you can practice this circuit you can make changes you can play with the values and you can see the impact of input and output right okay so if you have any further question regarding this topic feel free to ask me in comment section